Hello everyone, I'm Wayne Gilbert, head of the animation program, and we do call it the animation program even though there are two components, 2D and 3D. The curriculum's identical for both. You're learning how to become an animator. The software is the only thing that's different. And your question's about, it's referred to as blended learning, where sometimes you're at home, sometimes you're in class. Our plan for that is uh, each class will be given uh, two sections, A section and B section. And week one, A will be in Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then the following week, that'll switch around. So the B group will be in half of the group. So we wanna keep uh, safe social distancing in place. If half of the group is in class and half is on a Zoom call, um, everybody who's signed into Zoom can see what I'm looking at and switch from screen to screen as I go through that. Uh, the students who are in class might not want to sign into Zoom. They don't have to because they're in class. So we have projection screen behind us. Anything that I'm showing on the computer is shown on the big screen behind me for the students in class. What we, we talked about it yesterday, and, you know, there's, you just, just follow suit. The only thing that stands out is just that one gesture when he says dentist. Think about what is in his head when he says that yeah. feeling that he's got? Yes, I'm now. Okay. Ready to go? Yeah. At least another t second, another 24 frames. Okay. And you could, okay. you could push this. Think of performance, don't think of action. All of our curriculum is very tightly created in PDF and QuickTime movie format that you have access to all the time. It's on the network, it's just signing in and using it. Um, <clears throat> we, we haven't had any difficulty in getting the information out to students. Sometimes it's a little bit slower getting feedback because when we're on remote through Zoom, it's logging into different computers, which slows things down, but that's just a matter of being patient. The faculty is available to you through email um, outside of classes all the time. We, we will definitely answer any questions that come up, especially if you're in a different time zone and you're not able to sit in on the classes as they are scheduled. We treat it exactly like it's everybody's in the classroom. The one slowdown is normally when, or when you are in the classroom, when everything's back to normal, we visit you every day, every class, one by one, we go over through what you're working on. Um, we're set up as professional studios are using software called Sync Sketch, and if you just look at that online you'll see how it works. When you do your animation at home, you create a movie file, you upload it to Sync Sketch. So this is real-time viewing. While you're looking at it, we're looking at it, but we can draw on those files and make notes and answer your questions and give you very, very clear, this is what I would like to see information. Then when that file is closed, everything that's been noted on it is recorded and you have access to that as long as you want. You have a copy of it. So updating your work, um, even if it's in between classes, if you say I'm having trouble with something, uh, here's a sync sketch link, will you make notes for me? We'll say no. No, we'll say yes, sorry. We will definitely do it right away. Um, the faculty is in almost full time now for animation program. Uh, which means if you do come into class, you have access to us in class and in between classes if you want. All right, so we're we're going to do, we're going to give you the education that you want. That's all there is to it.